Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Me and uh, this is, uh, my name is Deanne, if anybody doesn't know me. And this is my friend. Um, her name is Tanya Stingley. She has a show called Tea Time with Tanya. Probably most of you in here know that. But if you don't, you should subscribe to it. She's wonderful. I love her to pieces. And we start doing this show called Paranormal Talk. And we've been enjoying it and doing it every week. And last week we did a show on the Bermuda Triangle and I had more videos to show you and we didn't get done talking about everything we wanted to talk about. So we're going to do that today. But I want to say hi to you guys first because you know what? You guys know me. All you who know me know me. I can't type worth a darn and I will take me four times to say hi to you that I will mess it up with typos. So I just want to come and say hi to whoever I can. And I got a couple announcements to make and that'll give some more people to get time to come into the room. And then uh, then we'll go ahead and start our, our show about this. So let me see here. So we got Spirits Beyond the Stars. Hi, and Linda Bishop. Hey, Linda. And let's see, we got Mickey, my friend Mickey from Australia. And then we have got Mary Epperson. Hey, Mary. And Linda, there's Linda Bishop again. And Blue. And that's an easy name to remember. Rebecca Gilberto. That's easy to remember because I have a friend with that last name, same name. So anyway, welcome, you guys. Thank you for coming. Um, my first announcement um, I, I had to make, I'm gonna, I should clean these glasses. I might be able to see out of them better. Okay. My first announcement I had to make is, uh, if you guys didn't know, I am really, really blessed and honored. I got invited to the Sacred Chicago Connections. It's in, uh, it, well, it's in Chicago, and it's with Linda G and Mel. And uh, Mel wanted me to tell you a little bit about it. So he sent me some information. And uh, so it's going to be uh, an urban retreat, they said. We're spiritually, uh, let's see, where spirituality intersects with the vibrant energy of Chicago. So it says, join us for a transformative experience featuring renowned personalities from across the United States, each sharing their unique gifts and insights. And then you got me. Anyhow, but it says Linda Grindle, she's from the Comanche Psychic. She's going to be there and she's going to uh, lead a, a medium, transformative mediumship circles and uh, give insights and guidance. Mel Dor, the Aloha Shirt Psychic, is going to be there. And um, he's going to be giving talks on mediumship and intuitive development. Kevin Lewis, the healing medium, is going to be there. And he says... Um, it's an enlightening journey into the world of spirituality and signature healing medium sessions. Kevin Chandler from uh, Kevin's Loving Vibration. He's going to be, he's an energy intuitive and he's going to um, be talking about healing arts and focus on Reiki and Reiki techniques. Then Kim Copeland, she's coming. She is a spiritual medium and hospice RN and she's going to do a presentation on angels and colors. And then me and PD, yay! And we are going to come and we are going to give a one hour talk on uh, our oils, uh, how we got into this business, uh, how we got started, all this stuff, and give it. And we're going to have um, bring our oils for everybody to see and talk about and make them. And I'm so nervous because this will be my first time standing in front of people talking face to face. So, you know, y'all pray for me. But I figured I'm going to just put a whole bunch of that confidence oil I make on and I'm going to get on up there and, and, and I'm going to do it. So I got I got to practice what I preach. So but I am excited about it. And he wanted me to tell you, let me just put my other glasses on. He wanted me to tell you that uh, they're going to be uh, having. Oh, it's the dates of it. It's going to be Thursday, September 26. That's when they're going to have registration and a meet and greet. And they're going to have appetizers until 7 p.m. And then Friday, the September 27th, uh, they're going to have morning sessions, lunch buffet, afternoon sessions, and a talk with Kim Copeland and then me and PD. And then Saturday, the 28th, they're going to have morning sessions, a lunch buffet, afternoon sessions, and the closing ceremonies. And um, we're going to be staying. What's the name of this place we're staying? 
it says it's the, the restaurant is Pippin. It's Pippin's Tavern. It's in the lower lounge of the place. But, but if you want information, the registration number is 874-590-5411. I'll say it one more time. It's 874-590-5411. So anyway, I'm super duper excited. I can't tell you the price and all that stuff, but if you call that thing, they'll tell you and you can find out all the information you want to know. And uh, the other thing, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I got my thing. I'm probably echoing you guys because I had my, uh, what do you call it? I had my phone by the thing. So, and I wanted to tell you that um, to go, I put my manifest link up there. We just got, we have, I didn't know how little of these we have, the uh, lilac candles. And we've got, I go, how many of these we got? Because my brother smelled it and he goes, I want one. And so I said, okay, I'll buy you one. And I asked her, how, uh, how many do we have? And she said four. So that means we have, I'm going to take one. So that means we have one by one for my brother. We'll have three. So if you want one of these hand poured beeswax soy candles, get them because, and if you don't, I'm going to, because <laughs> I delight this for my mom for Mother's Day because she loved lilacs and I love lilacs. And it was something we both loved. And, and I always think heaven smells like that. So we are going to, uh, I'm gonna light this for Mother's Day in honor of my mother. And uh, then there's a peony mahogany one. And I got a thing, if you go to community page, it tells all the stuff that lilacs help with, mahogany, peony. I looked that all up for you too. And there's some new oils. So there's my spiel. Uh, you all know that you can go to the link and you can see and you can email me with any questions, but I had to get it out there. Um, so anyway, we're going to go and I wanted to play a video for you in just a second. Let me say, oh, Mimi Rose. Hey, Mimi Rose. I love her. She's a sweetie. Connie, hi. All righty, everybody. So Grandma K, thank you for coming. Everybody here, thank you so much for coming. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to attempt, as always, to show your videos, and I might mess it up, but I'm getting better and better. By the time I do this a few more times, I'll have this down. So I want to share the screen. And this one you haven't seen. I think, Tanya, you're going to be interested in this one because I thought of you when I seen this. It's a little bit lengthy, but it's worth it. So, okay, so I'm going to share screen, and I want to go to this one. Let me make sure. Where is it? Hold on. Oh no, hold on here. Oh, okay. This is video two, part one. Okay, so let me do this, load this one again. Okay. And I want to. Why is it saying video unavailable? I try it again. My computer, it's Mercury retrograde. It's acting up, guys. Okay, well, we might have to do two. This is terrible. This is, we were having it freeze up on us earlier, and now I'm having my videos not show up. Okay, wait, here we go. It's saying currently unavailable. All right, and that was the one I really wanted to show you, too, Tanya. Don't worry about it. That's, I know, but I'm worried about it. I wanted to show y'all, and these things are not showing up. See what oh, I mean? It's just showing yeah. these things. And I've got, it's just in video not available. And that's it, just it, it might email. have something to do with you pausing your updates. Oh, you think? Possibly, yeah. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, let's try and see if this shows up. And it's being real slow about, oh, this one, let's see if it comes on. Let's try it. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this one to come on. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to put share screen. Now, this is actually about the Alaskan triangle. This was an extra one that I put on here, but let's see if it'll play. Ah. You guys, I'm so sorry. I'm never... It's all right. Here's, here's the great thing. Be patient with we can... guys. 
try it again. It's okay if it don't work. We can do a show without videos. We don't have to have the props. Me and you can talk a talk a mile long <laughs> without breaking a sweat. <laughs> I know it. I know it. Okay, let me set stop screen, stop sharing, and try it again. Maybe I have to go back to it again once more. Okay, share screen, share screen. Okay. And let me start this over. Pyramid in the center is larger than the Great Pyramid at Giza. Well documented. Many researchers have not discovered this. Some research was also out of Cuba. And there's actual um, imagery from this, which was taken by radar scans, and the images are actually available. This is published, reviewed work, but you know nobody hardly even knows about it. It don't make it public. Now, why is it in the center of the Bermuda Triangle? Could it be possible that the reason why there are magnetic, electromagnetic disturbances there that cause a lot of disappearances and crashes, could it be possible that that pyramid, which still has its capstone on it from the scan, could be emitting some type of a exotic energy okay which would explain the whirlpool that forms there in this center here's something even more incredible if you take a line a stick and draw a straight line through the center of that pyramid directly through the earth to the other side you end up at the ugani pyramid in japan in the other devil's triangle they call it the devil's triangle okay so now quit that one And let's. Oh, here's one that I wanted to try to show you. So I'm going to stop this, and I want to try to play this one more, and then I'll then we'll talk, and then I'll I'll try to get those other ones later. Let's see here. Triangle connects three major cities, Anchorage, Juneau, I want to get and this north city called Barrow. It's one of I'm the trying. Bermuda Triangle is crazy. The Alaskan Triangle is dark. So the Alaskan Triangle connects three major cities, Anchorage, Juneau, and this north city called Barrow. It's one of the only places left in North America that's been untouched to man. The triangle didn't start attracting public attention until October of 1972, when a small private plane that was carrying the U.S. Majority House Leader and three other passengers just vanished into thin air. For more than a month, 50 civilian planes and 40 military aircrafts covered a search of 32,000 miles and did not find any evidence of the plane, the men, wreckage, or debris. Mainstream media tried to paint this image that we had another Amelia Earhart situation unfolding in front of us. But it's been publicly recorded that since the 1970s, 16,000 people have went missing in this triangle. And as of February 23rd, 2022, five other people just went missing. However, there are many civilians and natives that live in Alaska that do support the idea of energy vortexes being there. Energy vortexes are thought to be swirling centers of energy that are concentrated in specific locations. The energy radiation in a spiral cone-like formation that either expels positive or negative energy, whether it's spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. And Alaska has quite a few of these, but it's said this energy can affect humans in various different ways, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, or even spiritually. The positive vortexes or clockwise vortexes are said to release an enhancing flow of energy. This type is said to be conductive to healing, meditation, self-exploration, and creativity. However, negative vortexes that spiral down drain and deplete the energy around it. These energy vortexes are said to bring about hallucinations, confusion, depression, and even health problems. Not to mention the scientists that went here in Y2K literally had their scientific equipment break. If you want to know more about these energy centers, I have a video on my page that already lists where a lot of these are. But the most notorious negative vortexes are the Bermuda Triangle, Japan's Devil Sea, and Easter Island. I'm not sure if any of you guys have ever seen the movie The Fourth Kind, but it's literally based off of the Alaskan Triangle and the events that took place. And my favorite thing about this film is how they actually layer the real footage on top of the actor's footage of what actually happened. So you actually can, you know, believe some of the testimonies that are being said. But what do you guys think? Have you ever been to Alaska? Wow. Okay, so that one, 
I thought I put it as an extra. We're talking about the Bermuda Triangle, but I thought that was very interesting that the Bermuda Triangle, that there is a pyramid down there. They have found it's bigger than the Pyramid of Giza. And it mm -hmm. is a uh, crystal and, and it, there, it's an energy vortex. And if you, they said you go from the center, it goes all the way down to Japan, another triangle that is, and then now we find out there is a triangle in um, Alaska that Alaska. people disappear. Mm -hmm. yes. And, they, and they're all over. Yes. So I just was uh, excited. And I, the one I wanted you to see was this gentleman who's um, explaining what you say that you feel it's a portal. Mm -hmm. And 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 they was explaining how it was a portal. So I'm going to find that one. I'm going to see in a little bit. We'll talk about it. Then I'll go back and see if I can get that one up. Was just getting ready to mention that movie, The Fourth Kind. It's a bizarre movie based on true events. I want to see it. I want to see it now. I think I did see it. I think I saw that a long time ago. I really do think I saw that movie. So I thought maybe after we get some, we talk about it, we could use either our pendulum or a card or in, whatever, however you want to do it. And I, I'm going to use my pendulum just for fun and say, is it this? Is it that? And just curiosity, see what we get. Or you could use your card, yes or no, you know, and just, just to see if we get the same thing. But um, there was another thing that we talked about there being a German bunker down there that they had found. Oh, oh in, in, in Bermuda, Bermuda or in Alaska? In Bermuda. They've been that there's finding a German what? A German bunker that was down there. And I don't know if that's real, but they were, I, I had a video of that and it looked like it was pretty, pretty large that they had found. One person was saying that they had been down there, found a German bunker. And I had a video of that. Of course, I didn't get it on here because I had six videos for you guys and I didn't have room for any more, but I'll get, I'll get that one I wanted to show you back. <laughs> and then one was saying that um, there was a diver down there who saw a spacecraft down there. And uh, that some people think it's a portal that they pull people down and that, you know, some people that think aliens are bad will say that they do experiments on people. How they know that, I don't know. Another lady was saying that the city of Atlantis, that that could be the Bermuda Triangle, that pyramid where it was made of crystal because didn't they disappear uh, because mm -hmm. of abusing the crystal? technology well, that we they don't know why they disappeared we have no idea why the the atlanteans and the lemurians went wherever they went to we have no idea nobody has any clue now i know i've heard about the atlanteans i have not heard about the lemurians i'm gonna have to look that up i, thought, <laughs> I heard you say it but i haven't had a chance to look that one up what were the lemurians they were just like the Atlanteans. They were, it was just like another, it was, uh, Lemuria was another city. At, Atlantis was a city. Uh, Lemuria was another city. Both of these were centers of, and I have to say, um, electric or energetic flow. Uh, a lot of the things that we haven't talked about star forts. And because we're talking about the Bermuda Triangle and vortices and and, and all of this, we need to talk about star forts because the whole planet is covered in star forts. And star forts are, were built to amplify frequency. Yes. Pyramids amplify frequency. So all the pyramids, all the star forts all around the world, that is a com connected, literal, computer grid that was made in the ancient times the people were not in the dark there was light people did not live inside in the dark they lived probably pretty similar except for all the the trappings that we have to us they were probably more advanced than we are and definitely more civilized yeah, I wouldn't be 
surprised because you know they, they these these pyramids I, I watched ancient aliens a lot of times and they were showing how this one it has a direct path to that one a direct path to this one and that there are some that have pyramids inside of pyramids and that they were the they are what charged that some people say it charges the earth you know or that they were used by other generations before us way before us for energy and that has been kept from us the free energy that the the ark of the uh, covenant which everybody thinks is is something that it is not the ark of the covenant i believe the slot in the great pyramid of giza that is a channel i do believe the ark of the covenant slides into that and will power that sucker on well you and know I believe a lot that's of why it has been taken and hidden because it is a source of immense power and whoever has that power is going to be the person to literally rule the world well, you know, they were sitting there talking about uh, that last week when we were talking about it, how uh, that the uh, rockets that hit the firmament, that they all go into the Bermuda Triangle. But I got to thinking about that. I thought, how in the heck is every rocket that's trying to go up into space to break the firmament, how is it going to all land in the Bermuda Triangle? How are they going to make portals everywhere? Huh? There's triangles everywhere. Yeah. So I don't know well, it if I have to go that. to Bermuda. It could go to any any vortice. It could disappear into any vortice. But remember when they were saying that one guy was saying that it was uh, they were telling us that it was this oh. and it was that to to try to trick us because it was a government secret that they didn't want people to go down there and that, to find those rockets and stuff and that but then what happens to the people in the rockets you know if it crashes in the bermuda it just didn't sound right to me after i, got I, I believe the, the bermuda triangle is an entry into another dimension i think and some people may get caught in between dimensions or may die trying to go through uh that portal but I don't think that it's going to be a bunch of wreckage there. I, I don't think that those those crafts wrecked. I believe that those were moved somewhere else, just like in the Philadelphia experiment when when they made that ship disappear and it and it showed up in Virginia for a few minutes and then boom, it was back in the harbor that it started at. They created, they made a man-made portal and they sent people through it of course they didn't know what they were doing so they screwed it up big time people got hurt people got unalive and they lied about the entire thing even to the wow. point now where they're even trying to say oh the philadelphia experiment was that never happened yes it did and we did have big old ships that were zebra painted they'll tell you that didn't happen too it is. That was part. We have known, not us, but our government has had extraterrestrial training knowledge since mm -hmm. the extraterrestrials made themselves known to our governments. They have been sharing technologies. In the, the ETs have been giving governments technology. That's how we got cell phones and the internet and all this good stuff in exchange to do some experimenting on us and on some animals. I wonder if that's why some people, some people believe that's where some people go missing. A lot of people that, you know, are missing. There's so many people missing that they are, have made an agreement with some of these aliens, reptilians and things like that, that they will give them so many people to experiment on for that information. And mm -hmm. so these, these, a lot of these kids, a lot of these people that, you know, you've never seen people missing at the rate they are missing now. And, and that does make missing. you wonder. But if you look at some of the children that are coming in now, I really think that we might have a literal student exchange program going on with some of these children 
Um, and some and a lot of them are on TikTok right now. We've got a lot of little baby geniuses, a little bunch of little baby um, physicists, uh, little children who are all over the internet trying to tell people exactly how this world was made and what is going on. And we need to be listening to these little aliens because these yeah. children are trying to tell us this is the next wave that is coming in and they're coming in with this knowledge. So, um, and it all, and, and even the Bible, you, you know, will tell you who's going to lead them. A little child will lead yeah. them. The children are going to be the ones who get us out of this mess that us old adult grown up folks got us into. Yes. I seen a video and I, 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 I guess I had six of them. I couldn't take all the ones I wanted to show you. Um, but there was one on a little boy and he was talking about what the fourth dimension, fifth dimension, this is a little bitty kid. And he was explaining it and explaining it very well. Wow. And, he just knew. Mm -hmm. and it was surprising. What I wondered though, about the thing about the rockets, you know, there, there's a story about the rockets trying to break the firmament, which, you know, they could have tried to do, but why do they want to break it and they don't know what is on the other side? Because what if there's water on the other side? Remember the show on The Simpsons where they showed them breaking the firmament and all this water comes flooding in on, on the whole town? That's Why the is there whole, water on the other the side? That's the whole mystery. Because to me, I, I've said this before and, and I really believe this. Number one, we are 90% water. You look up in the air and we have our sky. Our sky is blue. When you look in the sky and you see something go across, it looks like a, a speedboat might be floating across the top of the sky sometimes. Yeah. I truly, honestly believe that we are in layers and we, our air, our H2O, hydrogen, oxygen is a water, vapor, and oxygen mixed. We are underwater. Our oxygen to water ratio is just different. I believe this whole planet, space is water. I believe this. So we are surrounded by water. We live in water. Just like you have the, the lake in the ocean. You have water yes. in water. And there's a separation because, and I think and our- they bounce off it, of it when they try yes. to go down. And I, I think our firmament is what keeps us in our bubble under the water. And these people who are trying to break out of our bubble into an adjoining bubble. And that might just be what, um, golly, time jumping and everything is. Just being able to move out of the realm that you are in into another realm. and But you just like your lake under the water, you can't get into it. There ha only the people who are under there or belong to it can get into it. So there are yeah. stops that keep us. I'm sorry, y'all. No doggy butt. Well, <laughs> Spirit, so, uh, beyond the stars, she said, I believe there's a portal in the largest lake in Russia. The Soviet Union ordered five divers to go into the lake. Yeah, Russia knows things too. And, and and that time slip thing you were talking about, I know Spirit Beyond the Star, you were talking to Tanya about that time slip thing. In the Bermuda Triangle, there was a pilot who flew through and he, he came into this almost like, I don't know, a cloud and it was swirling crowd. He went through it. He thought he was going to die. He went through it and he ended up where it is the destination. It should have taken him 90 minutes and I think it was like 30 minutes or something. So he skipped time. He, it was no way he could have gotten from here to there in the amount of time that he did. But once he went through this circular, you know, cloud that he saw, he had no choice to but to go through it. He went through a time thing and, and traveled faster than what With the time. A time warp. A time yes. warp. Yes. And let me see. I was just going to look. I had a couple comments up here hey hershey nice to see you vivian karen yeah guys i'm sorry i messed up on that video i really i want to i really want to try to get that for you i wanted to ask too have, did you ever see um jackie you know who jackie gleason the honeymooners did yes. you ever used to watch that yes well did you hear the story about him uh he was very very interested in uh 
uh, extraterrestrials. He was very interested in that. He believed in that. And so Nixon, Richard Nixon was the president at the time, and they were friends. They used to golf together. Well, Richard Nixon showed up at uh, Jackie Gleason's house with no secret service, just in a car by himself, which was odd. But he picked up Jackie Gleason and he took him. You never heard this story? It's, it's mm-hmm. true. He took him to this uh, secret area, bunker, wherever it was. You can look it up. It's, it's, it's true. And uh, he showed him pieces of alien ships. He showed him pieces of aliens, aliens in like whatever, formaldehyde, whatever they had him in. And I guess this okay. shook up Jackie Gleason so bad. It got him all shook up that our government knew all this and had all this information they kept from us. And he came home and he ended up telling his wife. Well, his wife and him later ended up getting divorced. He told his wife, don't say nothing. They ended up getting divorced and his wife came out with the information. Well, neither Jackie Gleason or uh, Richard Nixon would talk about it after that. So, yeah, they they there is a place that they showed he showed him as a buddy, as a friend showing off, you know, yeah, you want to know about aliens? I'll show you, buddy, you know, and, and, and it just he couldn't eat for three days. They said he was so upset. You know, he was a big guy, too. He said he couldn't eat nothing for three days. He was so upset by what he had saw. But nobody he wouldn't go into detail about what he would saw more than he saw aliens. He and, saw and, and, and you know what? You know what? It is probably so disturbing what he saw, because I'm sure he saw uh, people under glass, what they used to call them back in the days, pickled punks. That's what they used yeah. to call them in the in the circus. But I bet he saw people that look just like us, but in formaldehyde. Um, I, I bet that's what freaked him out, is that the aliens probably look just like us. Yeah, it was probably like those things you see on, on TV shows where they have the tubular things and they have them in a liquid just to preserve mm-hmm. them. And he probably seen female, male, different ones, different species. Sharon Yates says, I believe the Bermuda Triangle is a kind of portal too. Something is definitely going on. I got to show you that video. I'm going to try again, you guys, if I can. Okay. Uh, they dived into the lake um, as they were told, and they came out as quickly as they went down and said that they saw aliens in the Soviet Union, ordered them to go back. Soviet Union. Oh, yeah, I heard that down. story. I heard that story. Did you hear the story about the Anna? We'll have to save it for I'll save the Anunnaki story for when we do that. I have a, an Anunnaki story, <laughs> Russia story. So oh, you don't I, want to I, get me started on the Anunnaki. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna do a show on it because I've got I've got some info on that that I want to talk with you about too. I love this, you guys, that we can just talk about all this stuff that I don't have anybody else to talk to. They don't think I'm crazy because, but I I believe in this stuff. And there now people who thought we were crazy. They're believing it too, a lot of them, because we're getting pictures of them all over. I think Linda G, she went to, uh, oh, where was it? Some place in um, Mexico, I think. It was New Mexico or someplace, she she, she said. I forgot. But it was a desert area. And she said she saw about 50 of them. And she said she knew they were aliens because they, shoot, shoot, you know, lit up. And she said it was really exciting. So they're making themselves known to more and more people. More and more people. More There's going to be more. no denying it. And they're hanging. There was also nuclear sites that I guess that they, they if you destroy our planet, you hurt the universe. You hurt the other yes. pl- levels of the planets. So they were turning off these nukes. And I guess they were one by the other one. And it wasn't like Christmas tree lights that you turn off one and they all go off. You have to individually turn them off. And these alien ships were turning off those nukes. And they, they told them, I guess that people said, Linda says, what do you want us to do? And they said, do what you got to do to get rid of them. Well, it didn't work. But they're very interested in watching that we don't blow ourselves up and them too. Well, they don't care if we blow ourselves up. They don't want us to screw the rest of the universe. Yes. That's the whole thing. They don't, We are, we, and, and it's not the collective we, but as long as we're under this spell, we are the universe's number one uh what fugitive we're the bad guy we are the we are the only species that is constantly trying to destroy its own planet we are an arch enemy 
to the whole rest of the civilized galaxy. We are the crazy drugged out crack babies of the universe. <laughs> yeah, I believe that because I mean, just look at how, how we can't get along with each other. I don't know how we're going to get along if anybody comes from outer space, if, you know, if we can't get along with one another. It's just, I know, I wish they would just come out and tell us. They, they, they tell you and then they take it back. And then, but the movies, they say when you watch some of these movies, they tell you a lot in the movies. Had you noticed a lot of movies you've watched in the past have now come true? You know, yes. just different things. They have about to give us, they have to tell us what they're doing. And um, what did I say? Oh gosh, I said the movie today, Back to the Future. Oh, Go yeah. back. And watch Back to the Future. Go back and watch Little Shop of Horrors. Go back and watch. Oh, oh, you just finished watching it. V. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I watched that for the second time. Yeah. Go back and watch V again. And, and then I see again, it put all now. these parallels together. Yes. I watched it the second time when I was, I was way younger when I watched it the first time. And it was just, you know, it's a, it's a sci-fi show you're thinking. And it was good. It was really good. But now with the stuff I have learned and the stuff I know now and the stuff I have seen, I watched it in a whole nother light. You know, I was seeing stuff. It's like, oh, my God, that they're putting it in your face. Did you see King Kong when he took the, uh, the big tree and he threw it up at the sun and it broke the firmament? So they were telling you something there. Wow. Uh, and they had the show the Hunger Games. They had them in kind of a virtual kind of thing, you know. Yep. So it makes you wonder, is there some above us and like were there little playthings? We're under this firmament and, and, I, I, and I really do. I believe that there are layers of existence. I really, really believe this. Um that because there are humanoids or human beings or whatever you want to call that live in the interior of the earth but it is not just one place or one race this planet is occupied the oceans are occupied the inner earth is occupied inside of some volcanoes is occupied you know yes. it's just there's so much that we don't know the these these magic doors that open in these mountains and these giants that are still being seen that are living inside of mountains y'all we don't know nothing we my have husband, been ignorant of everything it's so funny my husband he never believed in any of this stuff and now I, he's heard me when i'm looking up stuff i tell him about all this stuff he goes you know what I didn't believe in any of that stuff. He goes, now I, I believe in everything. He says, I, the world is a whole nother different place than I ever thought it was. And uh, he writes stories. And sometimes I'll be talking about this stuff. And he's like, I'm going to write a story about that. So it gives him my, my YouTube channel and our paranormal channel gives him ideas on his story writing. Joe says, hadn't Ed Edgar Casey done readings on Atlantis and maybe Lumeria? Is that right? Did I say it right? Lumeria? and said they got too big for their britches in their civilization advancements and co it contributed to their early premature demise. That's what I heard. They had all this crystal technology. And 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 so it shows that crystals have energies. And, and, and that's why, like when I do these, you put different crystals, they have they attract things, they have energies, but they misuse them. And they had all this knowledge. And that that's why, because they, they used them to hurt people. But, Just but like here's the thing. That this I'm gonna tell you why that doesn't make sense because if Atlantis and Lemuria were destroyed for harming humankind, how the hell did they allow us to drop a bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki right. and we're still here? You're right. That's and why I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. I actually I'm I'm more on the side of um as time goes that there was probably some type of a cataclysmic event maybe an earthquake maybe a flood maybe something um and and I, I really believe that um i don't know where lemuria is but i do believe that atlantis is just sunk it's underwater like california and florida will be one day well there was a a, a guy and he was probably older than us he was a, a one of those uh 
you know, islands, you know, I don't know if it was Bermuda, Jamaica, where it was. But anyways, one of those places like off the Gulf. And he was swimming and there was a little boy who lived on the island and he went swimming with him. The little boy didn't speak English, but they went in the water and he saw a merman come up from the water, look at him, jump up and went back down. And he saw it. Well, they, they ran out of the water. The little boy went to his grandpa or grandma and was like, you know, speaking in another language. And, and the grandma looked at him and said, oh, oh, ignore him. He has a vivid imagination. And the guy said, oh, no, he don't. I saw it, too. He knew what the kid was telling the grandparent because they both saw it and both ran out of there. And he says, I saw it, too, because not all mer people are good people. You know, some are good. Some are not. But some don't, you know, but not all not all humans are good people. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> but so I wonder if the if some people think, you know, they're mermaids and that, that they are um, alien. Some people think that they are the Atlanteans that turned into mer people because they adapted when they sunk. It's there's so many mysteries. We could be doing this forever. Um, Spirits Beyond the Stars says they went back down to oh, let's see, to catch uh, one of the aliens as they were told to do so by the Soviet Union. But the aliens pushed out the energy that they sent the divers so fast back up to the surface. Oh, uh, so yeah, they probably got the bend. Those poor guys probably swole up like doggone grapes if the aliens popped them back up to the surface. Oh, that would be terrible. Oh, could you imagine getting the bins? Oh, my God. Oh, that has no. got to be the most painful, horrible thing. You have to do it if Putin orders it because, you know, they, they'll they kill you there. It says so fast back up on the surface, the three divers died. Oh, see, oh, that's what God. happens. If you, if you come up from the deep too fast, you get the bins. The bins makes you swell up <clears throat> like a balloon. That's why you have to go in a hyperbaric chamber so that it can literally squish all that extra pressure. It has to repressurize your body. Yeah, if they got shot back up to the surface, there's no way they could have lived. Well, she said, and they said the aliens had a head like a jellyfish with testicles hanging off the head and it stood seven feet tall. Oh my gosh. I would not so want to that be That sounds like the spaghetti monster. That sounds like the spaghetti monster. See, I, I believe in that. I believe that. Hi, Risa. Greetings, Miss Terry. What is this one here? Has anyone done any readings about when or if it, uh, all of that lost knowledge and technology over the eons will be rediscovered and utilized for human advancement? It'll be it utilized has for been. knowledge. It, is, it has been rediscovered. It is hidden underneath the doggone Vatican. It is being kept from us. The knowledge is being kept from us. The ultra rich, the, the elite are keeping that information for themselves. That's why they did the whole crusade, so they could lock up all knowledge. They stole knowledge, the knowledge that was for everyone. They stole it and locked it away. Yeah, it's it's sad because, you know, the, the regular people, they don't even want them to get an education because they, they, they that's why the public schools are so poor, you know, because they, do, they just want to keep us as their, uh, you know, to do the low paying jobs. Vivian said they're still talking about the Philadelphia experiment. They're still lying about it. Yep. And see, it's nothing more than a fake sight of the moon. That's where they do all the filming of the moon and the other fake bullshit they try to feed us. What is that? F-51? Is that what it says? F-51 is nothing more than a fake. Or are you guy? talking about Area 51? And maybe she's talking Area about Area 51. I was a fake site. Well, you know, the guy who uh, supposedly went on the first moon mission, uh, somebody said on his deathbed, he let somebody know that that did not happen, that they had a room that they didn't, you notice they didn't even have stars in the sky. They had black, like the black stuff on the star. And, 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 they were and, the, and the flag sky. was like straight out, not waving. Yeah. And, and it just didn't make sense. Said so that the military airplanes fly over Bermuda Triangle all, all the time. Time. Yeah, why do you think some people get sucked down in it and some people don't? I think we the ones that don't know where not to fly. 
There is an area no that you can't fly over. It's not the whole. It's not the whole of Bermuda. It is one. It's a triangle shaped area that you have trouble flying over. And a lot of military planes have disappeared in the Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle. That's how we knew it was there because military planes went went missing. That's how it was discovered. Yeah, a big ship. I had. Wasn't there a ship with like 300 people or something on it that, that oh, sunk in the ship. 1940s? They Hips, had died? Boats. Yeah, lots of them. There's lots of them. Hundreds. Let me see here. Look at those questions. And I am going to, uh, I want to try, I want to try to get that video. You guys mind if I try to get that video oh. one more time? And if you see anything, you go ahead and, uh, but I'm going to go to this and I'm going to try and get it again. Can you still see the people in the chat? I can. And you can hear, you can still hear me, you guys. Okay. Yes. So I'm going here and I'm going to try to get that up because I really, really, really want you to see it. What the heck? Is this Mercury retrograde or what? It's just. Yeah, this, okay, this so one. I'm going to that. One. Are you still taping? Okay, I'm going to here. I'm getting it. Yeah, this one is, it's been a hard one on me. Uh, they said that the eclipse was like a full moon on steroids. And I've been feeling like it's a full moon on steroids. And it could be that this one is not, uh, wasn't loading up at right away because like you said, that I had the, okay, so I'm going to put this up here and load it real quick. It's loading, guys. Okay, and it says TikTok. All right, let's see. Still looks like it's loading. I'll give it a minute. Well, it's still saying video currently unavailable. Doggone it. Let's see if I got any other ones. Okay, so I'm going to go look here. I, it's saying unavailable. I wonder, do some people have videos where they won't let you share them? Um, yeah, it could or be it that. Or Mercury 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 Mercury. Mercury. Let's see what this one is. Hmm. We oh, saw no. that one already. I tell you, I'm having, I'm having, huh? We saw that one already. Yeah, Let's see what else one. I got here that I can show you. I really wanted you to see that. I'm going to have to bring that back and see if I can get it on here. And you guys, I was, we saw that one. And this one is nothing. Saw that one. Yeah, it's not going to let me. Well, don't oh, worry about it. This is so it. disappointing, guys. I'm so disappointed. I'm sorry, guys. Guys, I'm trying. Don't worry it about it. It was really, Dina. really good. I know, but it was so good. I, I was excited about that one. It was a little long, but I was like, I really want to show you guys this. So, so next time, um, if I get on here and I can get it on, I'll I'll do it ahead of time. I was kind of tired today. This Mercury retrograde and the eclipse and everything has got me just really tired and, and worn out. And it took me forever to to get my my hair comb today, but. I usually get on here early and make sure everything's working, but I kind of, I did it last minute. So it's my fault. So it's not going to happen on, oh, what is, it's something going to happen on the 20, the 20th, they said Mercury oh. retrograde ends. No, it ends. And I have my chart uh, read and they told me to pretty much stay in the house until the 30th, not to take any chances. Thank you, Fleck. He said, it's okay. Thank you guys for understanding. I, I just, I should have got up here earlier and made sure it was all working, but I will, I will get it on here next time when I want you to see it. But what does this say? For another interesting story, Google the Betty Andreasen affair. No, there's a book. Uh, okay. And see, there's a book and I thought a movie, but many podcasts about it. Extremely interesting about her and the family. Do you know who that is? I don't. I don't, yeah, but I'll look it up. Betty yeah. Andreessen, huh? Yeah, I'm going to type it. I'm going to type it into my YouTube. What was her? Betty Andreessen? Yeah, it was uh, Betty Andreessen. I got it. it. It's Andreessen. I got it. I found her. Oh, and and yeah, you guys put put down in the comments too. And uh, oh. what you want us to do, you put another one in for the lake in Russia that has aliens in it. Yeah, I'll look that up, write that down. So some of the, 
So, oh, I want to do my pendulum while we're thinking about this, because since we don't have much time. So I got my little pendulum here. I need to make sure. I say, show me yes. Hey, show me no. Okay. All right. So we want to see, is the Bermuda Triangle, do people disappear in the Bermuda Triangle? Because let's first ask if it is a place where the rockets go. Is it true that it's a place where the rockets go because they're trying to break the firmament? Okay. Is our government trying to break the firmament? Okay. Yes, they are. They have been trying to break it. Okay. Are the rockets that that don't hit that uh, go through the firmament, do they land in the B Bermuda Triangle? Do they land in the Bermuda Triangle? No. That's a, that's, let me double check. I'm going to put my elbow down. I want to double check. Do the... How do I want to say this? The rockets that they say hit the firmament and land in the Bermuda Triangle, do they land there? Do they land there? Okay, well, some do. Some have. Is, they is land in part? vortices. Yeah. They, they land, land in, in vortices. They land in vortices. Do they land in vortices? Okay, it says yes. And uh, is this why people disappear? So I'm going to show you. Is this why people disappear in the Bermuda Triangle? Show me stronger. No, it's not. It's not because of the rockets. I'm not getting. So what'd you get on your card? Well, that question was kind of the. Yeah. I, I don't think I understood your question correctly. I wondered so because of the rockets. You know, they said the rockets are trying to hit the firmament. And, and they go into the uh, Bermuda Triangle. And when people, when they pass it, the government is taking them to try to, and, and making them go somewhere else because they don't want them to tell about the rockets or discover the rockets. I'm getting no. That, no, that's no, not the truth. No, no, that no, no. They, are in, they, are in, they are physically in a different place. Yes. And they, they, they are not dead there. They are physically, they are physically in another place. Is... Let's see. How do I want to say this? Okay. Is the Bermuda Triangle a portal? Is the Bermuda Triangle a portal? Show me stronger. Okay. This is a yes for me. It's saying yes. Bermuda Triangle is a portal. Okay. Stop. The people that get sucked into the Bermuda Triangle, do they die? Show me stronger. It's saying no. Are there people that Let's see, the people like the 1940s, could they possibly be in another land where they, they live on? Like, you know, so the people that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle in the 1940s, are they still living? I get yes. Wow. And then there was a ship that crashed with 300. The ship that crashed in the Bermuda with the 300 people, it's saying they're still... I didn't have to ask, finish it. It told me, yes, there's, there's the people that go in there, I think are going in another dimension and they change. Does it change? Do the, do the humans change when they go through this portal? Does it change their body and their, yes. Do they live longer? Yes. Energy. Look at that. We're energy. Remember, energy cannot be destroyed. You can't kill energy. Uh, we don't die. We only transform. Energy can only be changed. It cannot be terminated. I watched a, a show that was very interesting. And they said it was this guy was talking about uh, near death. And he had had a near death. And he said, he goes, have you ever had a dream where it seems like a really realistic dream? And then you wake up and you're like, oh, that seemed really real. But this is who I am. You know, this is who I am. They said, when you die, they said, it's like waking up from a really realistic dream. And you think, oh, this is who I am. And, and, and this is where I belong. And you remember being there and all the people there, you know, that you've lived with before come to see you. And they're like, oh, you, 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 you came back. But it's like, they said, it's like going from sleeping to waking. It's this, it, he described it, but it's like you, the, where you are when you die is more, more real than this is, is what they were saying. Also, you guys, um, they had, I seen something I might want to talk about. They said the Hubble telescope. I don't know if any of you ever heard this. Uh, they said they think they got photographs of heaven. 
Well, I don't know that it's heaven. Some people say Valhalla. Some people say another place, Asgard or something. And then some people say that it could be just a, another city of aliens, you know, but it is a city of gold. You can see like the buildings, you can see the, they have photos and they, they came out. And so I've got some videos and I'm, I'm going to get these on here. Oh, right yes, now. Yeah. And it shows <laughs> to come out that they see they, they're calling it heaven. But it looks like a city in the air, a golden city in the air with buildings and everything. So, and then also uh, they said about Bermuda Triangle, we were talking about portals. Well, they said there's portals in the Bible too, because when they talked about like Enoch going being taken up to heaven, it was through like it's weather events. They talk about, oh, it's the weather that sucked them down. Well, okay, now maybe it is because they do have those those, you know, the whirlwinds, when they go this way, it's one kind of energy, go this way. How, like how did the Wizard of Oz start? Yes, a tornado. <laughs> and, and and all these things that, that when they were taken up or they were taken up, it was through, it was weather. It was it was a whirlwind or it was a, so it was weather related. These portals were, red, so it is actually in the Bible as well. Even, even, even Jesus's death in the Bible was, was, before he hung his head and died, the earth shook, the sun went dark. So that was a whole weather event. So they tell us, they tell us things, they mix so much up with lies to keep us from knowing the whole truth. And that's why they mix the lies in so that we never know the whole story. That's why our mathematics is incorrect. Because if we could actually do the mathematics that the way that they are supposed to, every one of us as little children could do what Elon Musk did and create our own portal. Oh, speaking of Elon Musk, uh, I heard he built a and, and I know we're off the topic, you guys. We just do this. Um, but one go down the rabbit hole and you find all these other little places to go. But he built that um, multi-million dollar bunker down there um, under the ground. I forget how much it's going to be done. I don't know if it's going to be done this year, but anyway, it was like, like seven layers. One layer is a hospital. One layer is this. The one layer is that. And it's round and, and there's elevator and there's all this stuff. Well, I got to thinking and I was looking stuff up for one. Does he think if there's a nuclear bomb that, elect, that we're going to have electricity? That there will be electricity? How's his elevator going to work? How's he going to get help down there if, if something goes wrong? And you're under the ground. What if there's an earthquake? You know, what do you do then? And if, if there's a nuclear thing and anybody survives in any way, you don't want to come up for probably years because they said Hiroshima, the Boy. size of that is, yeah, the, the, the bomb that Hiroshima was. What we have now is way stronger than that. And you see what that did. It put people's images into the cement, you know, it just so if anybody happened to somehow survive, his money ain't going to mean a doggone thing. They're going to come and take that bunker from him if he has anything. So it's like these rich people, I got to say, they think that they can cheat death. They can cheat that they, they, they're going to they're going to they don't. It doesn't matter if the little people get bombed. We are going to be safe in our bunker. They're not going to be safe. And I'll tell you what, I would not want to be in the bunker. I'd rather have the thing hit me head on. And they are the ones who are creating the, the conditions that they're running from. Yeah. Um, I, I hope they do all go into their bunkers. I hope they do. So they can just stay there and be buried and we can be rid of them. Well, you know, and, and, and you guys, you know, I'm not saying, you know, not, I'm not, I'm not preaching, but I'm just singing. There's things I remember where they said they would pray for the rocks to fall on them in the end days. So maybe it's those men, people in their bunkers thinking they're going to be safe and they will wish for the rocks to fall on them because it's, you know, they'll be wishing they was us and just got to go. You know, I, I just I'm like, you let them I'm stay like, here on this burning rock when it when it when that happens. Let them let them do exactly what they want to do. Let them have what they want. Let them face their consequences and let there be nobody to come rescue their dumb asses. <laughs> yep, yep, because they're the ones who who they think you know that well they're you know who do you think they want to try to uh get Mars? They want who was it? Was it Elon Musk too? He's trying Elon. to get 
Mars, people who live on Mars, you know, I don't know. I don't know about them. Okay, does anyone remember all the uh, hoopla about Hubble scope being a, a boondoggle? For years, said it wasn't functional and just uh, took all the pictures still being provided by Hubble de Telescope. I don't know, but I'll, I'm I'm going to look up some stuff on the Hubble Telescope and that heaven that they said they got pictures yeah, just, of. Just 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 take everything that comes out of the government with a grain of salt. They have a reason to lie to you. Just remember yes. that. They have a reason to lie to you. They are the ones who have the control over everything. And they are keeping us down under law, under taxes, under everything. Take everything that the government says with a grain of salt. Don't trust them. Them turds as far as you can throw them. Don't trust them. Oh, they're not, not for us. <laughs> they're not for us. I know they had, a, a, you know, Trump went to this big dinner. They paid 800 and something thousand, I heard, for a plate for dinner. And he's for going a up to the For a cash. piece of chicken. Yeah. For a piece of doggone chicken. Yeah, and he's telling them, I'm going to lower your taxes for you. Well, if you're a billionaire and trillionaire, why do you care about getting? I would be happy to give uh, pay my taxes to help the poor and the needy. I would feel it would be my duty. I would feel, you know, horrible if I didn't. Um, Arlene said, "Ask the pendulum if there's a pyramid beneath the Bermuda." Uh, okay, okay. Is there a pyramid beneath the Bermuda Triangle? It says yes. And they found it. Somebody found it. They were talking. Look at that. Look at how big that yes is. Wow. Yes. Okay. So is it is it the frequency? Is it the frequency of the pyramid that pulls people down? It's kind of a maybe. It might be at some time. Is it the port? Is is it an energetic portal? Is it okay? I want to say, I want to ask, is there aliens down? Is there aliens in the Bermuda Triangle? Yes. And I don't know, the ones that didn't get to come here last time, we were talking about the eels, how they kind of look kind of, you know, they're a weird looking animal, but uh, they all, uh, during a certain time of the year, they all go towards the Bermuda Triangle. All of them, okay. everywhere, in every place. They go and towards- And you said the eels country. don't have sex organs? No, but there is, somebody was explaining to me how they have babies, like one excrete something and, and I don't know. It was a whole thing. They don't, they don't mate like we do, you know, or like other animals do, but they all, and it's during when they're having one of those, like, uh, I don't know if you call it tsunami, but you know, one of those whirlwinds, storm type things, that's the time all the eels go. So nobody can go in there and see so much what happens. So a lot of people think eels, and octopus and things like that are oh, alien extraterrestrials absolutely absolutely <laughs> so i just want to see if we got any other things here for the environmental changes we will be informed of. you know i just don't know oh the nuclear yes the nuclear winter would be horrible oh, you lose God. your hair you lose your teeth you be no just hit me right straight on tell me where it's going and i'll sit there Google the multi-million and billion dollar bunkers being built in Arkansas. All those bunkers are built to uh, be self-sufficient and last centuries. So some may be very uh, safe for their lifetime. But what kind of lifetime is that? I mean, even I've seen some of these. They've got multi-million dollar uh, places that they're selling underground, you know, in case something happens. And they've got instead of a window, they've got a TV screen with pictures of outdoors and and they pay tons of money for these things. But I just think how lonely would that be being trapped underground with it? And then what if something happens to you? You get sick, you get hurt, you get, you know, I say let them let let all them folks who want to go live under the ground to escape what they've done to above ground. Let them go. Let them go and let whatever happens to them happen. And none of us should be worried about it. I wonder, do you think they know something? Yes. That that's why they have all the knowledge. They know exactly what's going to happen because they're the ones that put it into motion. Yeah, I think he's worried about, He's. it says Elon Musk, he's worried about, he's worried about the nukes and all that too. All it takes is one crazy person. One crazy person or to lose their marbles and we see who we might get, you know, wow. they hit a button or 
What about Putin? They said he's sick. What if you get so sick he loses his mind? He's on his way out anyway and wants to take everybody with him. You know, if you if you get a madman. So yeah, I when you watch that, if you guys watch that movie Leave the World Behind that I keep trying to pressure uh Tanya to watch, it, it was it was kind of about that, that type of a thing. It's very realistic. Me and my husband sat there the whole time going, Oh my god, oh my god, this is a like, this is a warning, it felt like. And, and there was a whole lot of things you could do a whole you could do a series just on all the things in that movie. Said probably it says every time explorers go to uncharted place on Earth, the enslave the they enslave the enslaved. population, exploit them and ravage the resources. the resources. So maybe they take yes, yeah. If we if they found. Why do they think they want space force? Why do we need a force of like you want to kill them before you ever even meet them? Let's see, what did this one say? Uh, they'll stay in their bunkers and when they run out of food, they'll eat each other. <laughs> oh, the rich the weak eating themselves. Good. Maybe they'll get tomain poisoning. <laughs> Here's yeah. my thing, y'all. Here's my thing. I'm gonna tell you a story of why I will never go into a bomb bunker. If there's ever threat of a nuclear war and somebody says, hey, there is a bomb shelter that can fit 30 people. Here you go. Let's say you go into that bomb shelter. They seal that door. Let's say there is a thermonuclear attack. First thing, half life, half life of an atom is seven years. So it's going to be at least 40 years before the earth on top of your bunker, the air is even breathable for you to go out there and not get radiation poisoning. Yeah. 40 years, you're going to have to be stuck in a room, in one room with 30 other people with their excrement, because at some point, the toilet is going to break. No place to put the garbage. No place to put the garbage. No place to put the poop. People are going to die. You can't open the door and throw the body out. So you will be living in human filth, in dead people rotting. Without, yeah, an escape, without an escape. No, thank you. If they say the world's coming to an end, I'm cracking a cold one and sitting on the porch and waiting to watch the mushroom cloud. They have a rock climbing wall for the kids. They have a classroom set up. They have a hospital unit set up, which leads me to believe some of these even have Starbucks and things like that. Like they will take the people they need, you know, but when something happens to them people, then you, have, what about if you get pregnant and there's a problem with the pregnancy? You know, there's just so many things that could go wrong with that. Well, they're just talking about basically turning people into mole people. But the people yeah. who live on this realm are not mole people. There are people who live in the earth who are quite adept to live there. That is not us. No. And and, no. and we, uh, one thing that we really need because we live on this plane is vitamin D. We need the sun. Can't get that from uh, lights. And that's all the sunlight they would have under there is light. So you would have a whole bunch of people with very brittle bones and horrible hair, um, horrible skeletal systems, just because they're not getting the one element that they need to survive on this planet. You just remind me, I'm supposed to be taking vitamin D and I keep forgetting Thank because I don't, I don't get out because of my legs and stuff. I don't a lot of times get out as much as I should. So said uh always don't saying don't wake up the sleeping giants they're talking about the sleeping giants turned to stone i've seen yeah. them and they do look real i just want to say hi to them here in las vegas hey miss tarot d they're building major underground cities and they'll allow some of us in so we can be their slaves so we can be their yeah. slaves nah, screw that if, let them we serve themselves. yeah they'll threaten to throw you out into the if you don't, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. let them serve themselves. Don't be nobody's slave. Let them go underground. Let them, let them say farewell. Bon voyage. I, I agree. I'd rather, you know, what Blue say? 
Liz said, what would the point be of one of the, let's see, what would the point be of one of a few survivors if everyone else was unalived except the filthy rich, the 1% wouldn't have anyone to work to death or enslave? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, That's why I say, up. let them bury themselves. Let them, in fact, let's help them. We can dig holes and throw them in there now. <laughs> said, I've talked to many transporters who know where these bunkers are located. Yeah, they said under some of these Walmarts, there's uh, there's roads. They show Walmarts, like roads. Um, under malls, um, under uh, military bases. I think under every single military base is an underground bunker. Every single military base. Well, Blue says self-sufficient solar panels won't work during a nuclear winter. So unless they have some other sustainable power source, the bunkers would be doomed. And they're being built like a small village. I've seen that for the rich enough to buy in. Of course, it could be just a business opportunity to fleece from filthy rich people. But some of them, they're, they're, uh, more and more are building them. And let they have them. a whole, let whole city. Old city, I've seen it, built in the east corner of Oklahoma. They show pictures of it one day. The northwest corner of Arkansas, the southwest corner of Missouri, and there's a whole underground city. Well, here's my question, and I know we got off of the Bermuda Triangle subject, but how are they going to know when this is happening to get to the bunker? And Because they're going to cause it. They are the cause of it, just like the Bible says. You know that, like I said, they mix the lies with the truth. The rich are going to cause the 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 revelations to come uh, true. You see it now. Just what they did with this eclipse. They, the whole the whole thing, the whole thing. How does the does the the track of the sun? How do you get that wrong and then have to change the trajectory of a of of a celestial event? How does man have get the opportunity to change how the sun's going to go across a, a land? It doesn't. Again, everything that they have been spraying up into the sky, y'all, and y'all may think I'm crazy and you can, it's okay. But all of the stuff that, all the chemtrailing and everything that they have been doing is to turn our sky into the biggest IMAX theater projection screen that you have ever seen. and. When they get ready, they are going to flash some images up there to scare the hell out of the population. That is what's going on. If you go outside and look at the sky, tell me, does your sky look right? Does the moon look right? Does the sun look right? All of this stuff has been changed. Everything. And this is government, governments doing this. The rich people who have the money to chemtrail the skies, to miss, to make us look over here instead of over here. There's a whole lot of stuff going on, but this, a, a lot of it is man-made, trying to get us, trying to bring about well, in Mexico, the end of us even. In Mexico, I was watching this video and they were showing people having videos where hail was coming down in Mexico, which is unusual. But not only that, it was a jelly substance and it was sticking to their cars and even their windshield wipers would not wipe it off. She's like, what is this? What is this? It, nobody had ever seen anything like it. So it's that they're, they're doing all this crap with the weather, trying to change the weather or control the weather. And, and it's like, who knows what kind of stuff they're it's bringing down you know they just they want to play god if they did not come by boat or plane then they had to come by portal did they come by portal okay all right so if they did not come by now what are, wait, who are we asking they had to come by portal are we are we wanting to know if aliens Explain, I want to make sure I'm, I'm understanding spirits beyond. If they did not come by boat or plane, who is they? I who want to make sure. They? Yeah, who is the they? Tell us who the they is. All those recycling wastes, et cetera, have been addressed in the International Space Station, et cetera. But I think the rich know more about outside and off Earth issues are bigger uh, threat to Earth. 
<laughs> Will we have toilet paper up there? Remember the great toilet paper shortage of 2020? Everybody was hoarding. You think if they're going to do that during a, a virus, you think they won't do that during the people are going to be, it's going to be a mad. That's coming soon. You can see that already um, with the, with the, with the, the necessity stores closing down. This is going to cause a panic. 99 cent store, Walmart's going to, I told my people on my show, y'all be prepared. A lot of Walmarts are going to close. Okay. This is a part of their plan. They're, they're taking all, they're going to take the budget stores off the grid. Price of everything. Sherry Go says on. she loves your headband. Yeah, Thank she looks you, good. Don't she? And, and then uh, we're going to get off here. I, I keep, I get excited seeing all your questions. If the rich are doing this crap, then they just have lost their minds completely. They, like I said, they 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 know, oh, that was the thing in that movie. They were talking about this one person. He was a stock market person. And I'm not I'm not trying to be spoiler alert here, but just a little thing. And and he knew by the way people would do the spot when people started pulling their stocks and this and that, that something big was about to happen. Mm -hmm. yep. And and it was, you know, and it's about this, you know, who's that? Um, not Sandra, Julia Robertson. And somebody else, her husband and kids, they rent out this Airbnb for vacation. And then the, the guy who owns the Airbnb, who was the stock, he comes back. And, and you, if you haven't seen it, it's it's really good. But I'll tell you what, you guys. Yeah, she does look pretty, doesn't she? I, I, I tell you, I had the hardest time today just putting a brush in my hair. I don't know what's going on with this Mercury retrograde eclipse, the planets. I had... Uh, one of the uh, astrologers, like I said, read my chart and told me to stay in the house until the 30th <laughs> because they, oh, here's J.O.'s got something to say here. Because they already know what's hurling towards Earth right now. Not all catastrophes are man-made. Oh, you're that right. I never thought of that. from the movie Don't Look Up. That yes. was we don't look up, and that could very well be hurtling right towards us. So if it is, uh, just know that that again, energy does cannot die; it can only be transformed. When we leave this plane of existence, we are we are still the balls of energy that we are. Okay, we will just be another form of energy. Don't be I afraid. Is there, is there, does the government know about a dangerous comet oh, that mama. is headed to Earth? What is it? What is it? Oh, my, oh, mama. Okay. Oh, ooh. does the government know about a dangerous comet? Was don't look up a warning? Was don't look up a warning? It's saying that was a warning. Okay was uh what was that other movie i said um let the leave the world behind by the obamas was leave the world behind a warning was there warnings in there for us that the obamas put in there for us because they knew a lot about that stuff too so yeah there i think that these rich people they know there may be some comment that don't look up might have been a, a little bit of a warning then we might have had uh that leave the world behind. There was several warnings in there, but you know what? It don't matter because this world kind of, you know, it ain't it ain't the best all the time. But it, I I'm I'm okay. I know this is not the end of us. Well, I'll probably be a whole lot more happier and get along better and be on the other side with all our family. If it happens, it happens. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll enjoy my life, my friends, my family, and the people I have here now. And you know. It's, it's no sense in worrying about it because we're not going to die anyway. Nobody ever dies. Like you said, energy does not die. So, uh, and I can you. say that because I still argue with my grandma and my mama. We have some knockdown drag outs and they are on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I was just telling Tanya when I went to go to my uh, nephew's wedding, um, he, my sister passed away when she was uh, 40 years old and this is his youngest. And uh, she, 
he, he didn't remember her, but he had her, I was getting ready to go to the wedding. And uh, I always find dimes when my mom, when I need her, when, when I, I, I really need her. Like I was going to the hospital. I was scared. I find a dime. Anything I do new to the house, I'll find a dime. Like she showed me, I seen it because my mom was always watching what we're doing in the house. And uh, when I went to go to the wedding, there was a little dime there. And I thought, oh, that's from my sister to say that she's there watching her little boy get married. And they had her picture up there right by him. And so, you know, I know that they're not gone. You know, I get signs from them all the time. And uh, OK, did, did they come here by portal? That's what I'm thinking. Did you tell us who the they are? Who are the they? Right. Who the they are? One more time. I'm going to watch really close so I don't miss it. Here, I'll, I'll go backwards and see if I can find it. Okay, she's going backwards. I'm looking at the bottom. So, so tell me who they are. Who did? Who is they? So I, so I ask. Deanna, I can't wait. I miss my sister and grandmother. I know, I know. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait and give them a big hug. And and me and Tanya are going to hang out. She's got a place all planned where she's going to be. I told her, I said, I just gonna have, she's going to be in this silent place where there's meditation and plants. And then she, big mouth me is going to come and go, Tanya, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> and she said, that's okay. We'll just have cookies and there'll be no calorie cookies, of course. <laughs> I can't that's find if she put anything else. Who is the they? Spirits Who's beyond the they? star. Who did you want to be? They come here by portal. Who is they? Please help us. You oh. probably did it. And if you did, don't get mad because I was probably running my mouth and didn't see. But I'm watching now. Okay, I'm going to just say, I'm hoping the ETs that prevent our nuclear destruction will be in the neighborhood and feeling neighborly when any near uh, Earth object gets a little close, too close for comfort. And the thing, Joe, is if those alien people, if they wanted to get rid of us, they could have got rid of us. If they were bad, they, they could have done it already. So, okay, I don't know who they was, but I'll read on it next time or you just email me and I'll do my pendulum anytime if I don't see it. But while I'm waiting for you to say who they are, um, I wanted to tell you guys, please uh, hit, if you have not hit the like button yet, please hit the like button. And this, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. I've only got, I'm like 300 and something away. I'm getting close to the 5,000. And then I'm going to have a party and me and Tanya and PD, maybe we can get together and, and we can give away some free uh, roller balls and I'll give away some free stuff. Yeah. And we'll have, you know, every thousand, I want to do something special for you guys. Oh, humanity does need to be shaken out of its comfort zone. Yeah. But um i wanted to tell you guys too if you have not gone to tanya's channel if you have not met her if you see her here she's great she's wonderful i love her so much and if you go to her channel she is so amazing and awesome you will not regret subscribing to her and and share her videos too with other people if you need a reading she she does reading she has sachets that are amazing smelling i put them in my pillow room spray and i'm learning to meet make mine too i'm practicing i'm practicing all my little different recipes and trying things out but hers are already she knows and they're good and uh so check her out and i'm going to say one more time before i go um please visit me and uh, uh pd's uh, little shop we are really working so hard on it and we've got we've got uh if you need protection, we've got St. Michael, but better oil is protection and it has a little bit of uh, confidence oils in there. We've got angel wings and that's kind of for somebody who is kind of down and they need something like a hug from an angel, just something to kind of calm them. And we've got this one called uh, strawberry. I won't show them to you, but we've got strawberry friendship and that one is smells just like strawberries. But I've got if you go to community page, they tell all what they're about. And I did a little video to tell all what they're about. Email me if you want to know. But the best thing is if you want to get the candles, there's only a few of them. So if you want to get it for Mother's Day, I'm, I bought one for my own Mother's Day present. And then it's going to be lit for my mother on Mother's Day. Your mom comes in your dreams and argues with you, Spirit Beyond <laughs> Stars. My mom does too. I was telling Tanya, I used to always get on my mom because she fell and broke her ankle on the bottom step because she wasn't hanging on and she was holding on to stuff. 
And so ever since then, I freaked out. I'm like, use your cane, put on your shoes. Don't walk around with slippery socks. Use your walker. Mom, you're going to fall. I was like paranoid because she fell a lot of times and I had to take her to the hospital. It scared me. So I was going down the steps and I had, I have bad legs and I'm carrying stuff in both hands. And I started to get a little wobbly and I could hear my mom in my head yelling at me. Deanne, you hold on to the banister, like, you know, like just kind of mocking me. Like, now you know, why don't you want to use your cane? Oh, now you understand, you know? So it's so funny how we get older and we start, uh, our, we become our parents. We start understanding them better. Uh, we love you too, Linda. Thank you so much. So Linda's got a birthday coming up. Oh, you do? When's your birthday? You're still working, Fleck, on forgiving your mom. I know, I know. It took me a while with my dad and stuff too. You know, we all have, We, but you know, I, I thought about it and I used to really think he didn't love us all this stuff, but then I thought about that, well, how he was raised. You know, he wasn't raised with love and then maybe his parents weren't raised with love. And I think that sometimes they, they, they not all of them, some of them don't deserve our love or respect. But, you know, some of them, they just don't know how to love. They weren't given it and they didn't learn how to show it. And then when they die and they go to the other side, they have to feel everything that they made us hurt, everything they ever did to somebody. I think the worst thing is if you hurt people, if you're mean to people, you got to relive their feelings and you got to feel that so you can learn. So if they're, if she's gone, then she knows better. You can't Let me look tell you what my mom just did for me. Now, my well, mom is in the spirit realm. And I was in the thrift store. Uh, I think it was Sunday or Monday. I was in the thrift store and I was in there for a specific thing because I had it was the day I bought my wand, my new wand. Oh, yeah. She's got and a cool wand, guys. I I I um I needed a new book of sigils and the the book, the the crystal shop didn't have any. So I had that on my mind and I was walking around. I was like, maybe I'll find a book of sigils at the thrift store. I find all kinds of stuff at the thrift store. So I'm, I'm walking through this thrift, thrift store. I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for a chest and I'm looking for a book of sigils. I found the chest first. Perfect, beautiful chest. And then I go to the book section and then I'm thinking, I'm like, and there's hundreds of books there, right? And this book called Letters to My Mom caught my eye, little tiny book. I pulled this book out. Inside of this book are two pages of sigils. Really? Sigils I don't own. Egyptian sigils. Wow. In this book, I'm looking for sigils. I, and this book, in a uh, called in letters from my mom that I wouldn't have even picked out because me and my mom didn't have that kind of relationship. I look at this book and inside are two pages of sigils. That is so cool. I and wonder I if they that have was from my mother. They have apps for everything. I wonder if they have an app on the sigils because I found an app on runes because I want to learn to, because of uh, my history, I want to learn to read runes and they have an app on it and it, it teaches you all the runes, what they mean. And, you know, I'm going to read up on that and I'm taking a class. Uh, it's six weeks. Um, every Sunday for three hours and it's on herbology and root working. And um, it's also on, um, I'm going to learn to read tea leaves. So I think that will be something fun that we can do on the channel. If I learn to read tea leaves and learn to do runes, I'm going to try to learn. And I made a, uh, I made a, this uh, potion. It's a, a tonic. It's, I made a whole big mason jar of it. It's an aphrodisiac and it helps with like depression, headaches, all these different things. It's Damiana and uh, I've got the recipe for it. And I made, I made, like I said, they sold like a little bitty bottle for uh, $20 or something. I thought I I'm learning about herbal medicine. And I thought, well, I want to, uh, I want to learn to make it myself. So I bought the herbs and it had the recipe and I thought then I can make it anytime I want and I can grow the herbs. 
So I'm going to be learning to do a lot of that stuff too. And you know, the pe the most people, there's a bunch of, it's so cool, Tanya. There's a whole bunch of people in the class that are mostly all nurses. They said that they have learned, they, they're gardeners. And they, we can talk about this next week when we do about this, talk about the witches who were actually herbalists and things. And they said that they will have a doctor that's trying to give somebody a medicine that is got a lot of side effects, that is going to have all this stuff. And they'll say, well, you could just make you some nettle tea three times a day and have it. And it would do the same thing. And you can grow it in your garden. And for those who don't have a lot of money to buy all the expensive medicine, you know, so I'm going to start growing herbs and, and um, things like that. So I can put them in my things. And what I learned I'm going to try and share with you and my teacher, I'm going to have her come on with me. She said she wants to come on with me. And so she's going to come on and, and talk about some of this stuff too. And right. she's, uh, she's pagan. Uh, but that was what my ancestors were back in the day. And she knows all about root working plants, things like that. And uh, I'm on, I'm, I may talk to her and see if she'll start carrying my, uh, my little, my little oils and products mm -hmm. in her store because it's a massage store and they have all kinds of different uh, things in there. So I'm excited. So I got all this new stuff coming, but my favorite day is Friday. The, yeah. White magic. Yeah. Nothing to hurt nobody. I don't have, I don't have, I, I told Tanya, she said, I, I don't have a mean bone in my body and I don't, unless <laughs> somebody hurts somebody I love. I'm more protective of my loved ones than I am myself. I can blow it off when it's me. Look at my chest getting all red. I'm getting Ooh. hot flat. Look at it. You are oh, hot flash. Yeah. Hot, I get it. So this is this is why my poor dog. I I put her in sweaters, and everybody's like, "Why do you put her in sweaters?" It's like, well, because she gets cold. Because I'm I do this, and then I have to put the fan on, and everybody else is freezing. This must be this a middle age middle age stuff. Fun being a woman, middle aged. Well, I'm over middle age now. Anyway, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please hit the like and subscribe. Please go to Tanya's channel. Uh, she's on every Wednesday, isn't it? Monday, Wednesday, Friday. For what time? She, you guys, she's gotten it. I don't know why I can't remember. I just catch you on. I'm like, Tanya. But 10 10, 10, 10 on Monday and Wednesday and 11, 11 on Friday. Okay. All right. Oh, and before I go, guys, I want you to write in the comments. Here, here, we're going to do witches next week. We're going to talk about all the different kinds of witches. And I got somebody coming on who's talking the difference between what is, you know, the difference between people think people that are witches are Wiccan. And that's one, they're different. One's a religion, one can be herbal. So we're going to talk about that and the witch trials and all the stuff, how they did women then. But the following week, I'm thinking about either Anunnaki, Skinwalkers. Um, what is the other one? Oh, we're going to do fairies Monday. We're going to have the mm -hmm. Irish granny on and we're going to talk about fairies and Irish law lore. Uh, this Monday, uh, Kenny? This, the 15th, this Monday, Yay. we're going to be talking about fairies at 7 p.m. We're going to have the Irish grandma and we're going to talk about fairies and all the Irish lore. I'm going to look stuff up and you guys come hang. And if you know anything, if any of you are Irish and can join in and help us and tell us stuff we don't know, then tell us because this isn't about us. All the stuff I'm doing, I'm just learning with you. And some of you know more than me. So, uh, Sherry says, it doesn't matter your age. Both of you are beautiful. You're a oh, sweetheart, thank Sherry. You. Thank you, honey. I love you, too. Well, all righty. I better go because I'm going to go watch the Nephilim on Netflix. I, I'm excited about the show. I heard about the Nephilim. And it's supposed to be about the fallen angels. Remember, they had it was with the women. And then they made the giants. There's a whole series on it. So I'm not like you. I'm a, I, I do like my movies. So I'm going to go watch that, you guys. And we'll see you Monday at Monday. 7 p.m. And uh, then go. Yeah, that's the next time we'll see you. And then go to her if you can go see her. And then you can come see us all together here. So thank you so much. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.